Hello, and welcome to a special report on the EVA to activate the reactors aboard the Tarvos antimatter production ship and also to relocate the Kerbals, uh, Calden and Ludman Kerman, from the escape pods to the science lab where they will begin their antimatter production. Uh, so, the first thing we would like to cover is the fact that the, the Tarvos, of course, used the third stage of the Saturn C3X to make two burns in order to lift its orbit. Uh, the first burn to lift the periapsis up to uh, 1,000 kilometers, roughly 1,000 kilometers, and we see that uh, here. As we see the Ullage rockets uh, start burning and then the ignition of the third stage. Uh, here flying over northern Australia, south of uh, Indonesia there, or uh, Papua New Guinea, yes. As we see here the in-cockpit view and all the details. Uh, this burn uh, took about a minute to complete. It was a 220 meter per second burn altogether. A fairly light burn considering the third stage had about a thousand meters per second of delta V left and will unfortunately have uh, quite a lot of that remaining once it decouples from the Tarvos ship. But here we go, the engine should uh, cut out soon. This is the second burn, and this uh, circularized the orbit at 1,000 kilometers. A much shorter burn, of course, and after that burn, uh, we got the separation of the third stage uh, 2 hours and 49 minutes into the mission. Uh, third stage separation was reported successful. The first order of business after that was to extend uh, radiator panels, which would help uh, cool the ship, make sure that uh, waste heat did not accumulate, and thereby jeopardize the reactors. And we see that uh, two burns uh, took the f entire orbit here, as once again we are over northern Australia and it was decided that the EVAs would occur over the Pacific Ocean the reason it was decided to uh, do it over the Pacific was to ensure that neither Kerbal was tempted to do any sightseeing and uh, that they wouldn't be distracted in their necessary business uh, the first uh, Kerbal to exit is Calden Kerman and Calden has the task of activating the three reactors. Uh, Ludman Kerman uh, was uh, not eager to do anything more than go from one hatch to the other. So here is Calden Kerman. And he has the difficult part to do here. Conferring constantly with mission control here. Of course, if there's anything Calden Kerman is trained for, it is this EVA. Um, this will probably be his most difficult task, except perhaps for servicing the reactors if necessary. The first thing he does is to check the thermal generator. And in fact, uh, he expressed concern after the thermal generator on the station, on the Titan station, was not uh, set to the right mode. And so uh, he expressed those concerns repeatedly, and he's checking it again here. I should note that the reactors aboard the Tarvos uh, do burn thorium, and so uh, they use thorium fuel. Perhaps not good to say burn in this case, but they use thorium fuel. If you recall on Titan Station, wrong fuel was placed in. But Zephyrin Kerman ensured that this was uh, thorium fuel this time. Uh, of course, Zephyrin Kerman's uh, Warp Supplies Company does not produce these reactors. So, uh, but uh, since he was putting together the ship, he wanted to make sure everything was up to spec. So here is Calden Kerman activating the main reactor first. And uh, it looks like it's good, so he uh, pulled away. 
Still expressing misgivings about the generator here, and he does a double check. After all, he does not want to uh, come out again on EVA to uh, fix any problems with the thermal generator, as happened on Titan Station. So, so he wants to make sure it is all good before he decides to go into the science lab and begin the crucial work of generating antimatter. Mission Control is trying to urge him on here. He's having a little bit of trouble getting to the necessary displays. That's the curveball equivalent of a shrug, and uh, so he's he seems satisfied now, and so he's heading to the back here. Heading for the two uh, 62.5 centimeter reactors, also burning thorium, burning, uh, not burning, but uh, using thorium fuel. And the propellant in the tanks above the reactors is uh, liquid hydrogen. The liquid hydrogen passes through the reactor, gets uh, heated, and then, and then uh, produces the exhaust through the thermal nozzle. Seems a little bit difficult for Colin to get up close to that reactor there. But but he's got it looks like. Uh he's he uh confirms that he's done. But also would have liked uh, uh some sort of handle or or some way to grab on there. Certainly the design flaw in this case, and uh We'll make a note to Zephram Kerman from the EDB. Making his way across to the second reactor here. It should be noted, as you can see from the view, that of course these side pods can be decoupled from the main ship and they can be independent independent spacecraft at that point though they would also t uh, we oh. uh, a brief loss of signal there as uh, Colin Kerman finishes up and he has successfully activated the other generator so all three nuclear reactors are are uh, properly activated and he now makes his way to the hatch as I was saying uh, of course if those two side pods were decoupled then the the waste heat situation on the ship would not be acceptable so some sort of uh, waste heat dissipator would or radiator would have to be attached to the ship before any of that would happen okay he's going in and uh, Colin Kerman is inside the science lab Currently waiting for his comrade Lubman Kerman. So all Lubman has to do is get to the science lab at this point. And he is out of the airlock. Lubman Kerman is of course a little bit nervous about all this. We talked about his uh, his uh, propensity to well uh, he, he really didn't appreciate that, actually. Uh, in fact, uh, he insisted on going out on EDA alone. Uh, he, uh, Colton Kerman offered to join him on EVA to make sure he was alright, but uh, Levin Kerman was so incensed by insinuations that he was lacking in courage that uh, he wanted to do this EVA on his own. And we see him uh, slightly awry at the first, but uh, now making his way to to the science lab with some gentle ribbing from Calden. Okay, he's got hold. He's demanding to be let in. And he is in. Okay, so... Alright, so, uh... Lebanon Kerman and Colin Kerman are in the science lab and 
And now we await the start of antimatter production. Uh, this is three hours and 20 minutes after launch and the EVA is complete. Okay, the antimatter apparatus is uh, operational. And this is a view inside the lab as they are about to get started. While they do that, the next order of business is actually to test the thermal rockets, the liquid hydrogen heading through the reactors and out the thermal nozzles. And so that will be done by mission control. And they're about to ignite it. And there we go, the thermal rockets igniting, going to full power, and then shutting down. And that was it, that was the successful test. Uh, of course, that was uh, barely anything. The total delta V of these rockets is uh, 585 meters per second. And that little burst didn't uh, change the orbit at all. The current orbit of the of the Tarvos is 1,035 by 992 kilometers. Okay, it seems like antimatter production is going apace. Waste heat buildup rate is decreasing nominally and should stabilize. Awaiting the first report here. Okay, it sounds like uh, the production, three minutes in only, is uh, 18 uh, micrograms. 18 micrograms of antimatter out of a total containment capacity of 80 grams. So quite a lot of space to use, but only three minutes in. So uh, it should be good now. We've got antimatter production in space on the Tarvos antimatter production ship as the ship approaches the west coast of the United States and Mexico, uh, crossing the Atlantic, all business has been taken care of. Uh, so yes, this is a successful successful mission, and uh, we'll look forward to what uh, the EDB will be using the antimatter for. Currently, the production rate is estimated to be 6.14 milligrams per day. Uh, the Science Lab is using 1,112 megawatts and at 1.149% efficiency. We're not entirely sure how they might get that efficiency number up. It's just a number that Zephram Kerman uh, threw out there. But uh, we will hope to see that efficiency rise. Just uh, basic status reports here. Okay, so thank you for watching this uh, special report on the EVAs on the Tarvos antimatter production ship and the activation of the reactors and the start of antimatter production. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this video and will continue to follow the exploits of the EDB in near Earth orbit and beyond. So uh, with that, this is the EDB signing off.